Kaya and good morning. And welcome to The Wrap. We'll start off by announcing the Cleanest Class Award. This week the award goes to... Room 4. Congratulations for keeping such a tidy room. Next we'll read off the birthdays. Troy will be having his birthday tomorrow. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear everyone. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Here is today's weather. Right now in Serpentine it's 15 degrees Celsius. It will warm up to about 25 degrees Celsius. It will be sunny today and the UV index is going to be higher around lunchtime. So try to stay in the shade as much as you can and wear your hats and sunscreen. Next we will see a movie from the year twos. Enjoy. Today's movie is about responsibility. What does responsibility mean to you? When you are responsible, you take care of things. Like if you have a pet, you can take them for walks or feed them, or you can take care of them. When you're responsible for your toys, do you put them away? You can show responsibility in the library by using bookmarks and taking care of the books. There are lots more ways to show responsibility. When people see you're responsible, I trust and respect you more. So start showing responsibility today. Hey, don't forget about the quiz! We respect things. <laughs> Action. When we're responsible, we take care of things. Like if we... That was a great movie from the year twos. Now time, time for some jokes. Which letter of the alphabet, alphabet can hold the most water? I, I don't know. The C. Ha 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 ha. Why did the egg get thrown out of class? I don't know. Because he kept telling bad jokes. Ha ha ha. Before we close the show, we are going to read a special announcement about Remembrance Day. Today we would like to acknowledge Remembrance Day, a profound significance to Australians and people around the world. Remembrance Day, observed on the 11th of November each year, commemorates the end of World War I and honours the brave men and women who sacrificed their lives in the, in the line of duty. For Australians, Remembrance Day holds a special place in our hearts. It's a day when we pause to reflect on the sacrifices made by, our, made by our soldiers, sailors and airmen, both past and present. On this day, we remember the courage and we remember the courage and bravery of those who fought in the conflicts to protect our freedoms and way of life. Remembrance Day also serves as a reminder of ongoing need for peace and the understanding in our world. It calls, it calls upon us to, to learn from the past to work towards resolving conflicts peacefully and to appreciate the freedom and peace we enjoy today. Privile privileges that were hard won by the sacrifices of those who came before us. I will finish by reading this poem, In Flanders Fields, by John McRae, 1914. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our face in the sky, the larks still bravely singing flight. Scars heard amid the guns below, we are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, dawn saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, turn you to you from falling hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If you break faith with, with us who die, we shall not sleep through poppies grow in Flanders fields. So take some time out to remember those who have bravely fought for our country and those who are currently serving to defend it. We'll close the show with another year two movie. Have a great week, have a great weekend. And that's a wrap, border border. Today we're going to be learning about one of our school values. Respect! Respect.
What does respect mean to you? I think you're being respectful when you are being nice and considerate to someone. Or you can be respectful when you're listening to someone that's talking to you. We also need to be respectful to our environment and don't waste too much water. You also need to be respectful to your family and people here at school. And that means don't be mean to them talking about them behind their backs. You also have to be respectful with school property. Like books and other supplies because lots of people have to use them. If you're respectful, other people will respect you back. You can be respectful at home, in the school and in the community. Hey, don't, don't forget, forget about, about the quiz! Action. I think you're showing respect when you're being nice or considerate to someone. Oh. Action. <laughs> Where was my again? Oh my god. <laughs> Action. We aspire to <laughs> respect. <laughs> oh my god. Action. What was that? Oh, mine again! <laughs> Action! You should. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>